We do know that Mamelodi Sundowns were crowned the Nedbank Cup champions on Saturday. And I promised earlier to explain uh, best as I can how it ended up being about Tebukho Langeman and not about Sundowns winning the title. So that's the story here around the sporting circles or at least the football circles coming into Monday morning. Let's first take a look at what the PSL had said. So every week without fail when matches are coming through, the PSL will send out an email with a list of suspended players so that the media and the clubs know who is not eligible to play. And look at the name that we see there. Suspended or players on suspension, Nedbank Cup 2019-2020. Mamelodi Sundowns, the only name there is of Tebukho, Joseph Langeman. And this was because he had accumulated his fourth yellow card against Black Leopards uh, when they played their final game of the league. And uh, well, he had gotten his yellow card, which means he is automatically suspended for the next match under the auspices of the league, which means the Nedbank Cup included. But let's take a look at now the Sundowns team sheet on Saturday in the Nedbank Cup final against Bloemfontein Celtic. There you go. There's the starting lineup. But look at the subs there. The name highlighted, number four, Langerman is on the subs list which means he's on the team sheet to start against Bloemfontein Celtic. Now, you might say he didn't play, he was, on the, uh, uh, he was not on the starting lineup, but FIFA, according to FIFA, having been on the team sheet, you are considered to have taken part in the match. Let's now take a look at what happened in the match uh, during uh, that uh, final on Saturday. Mamelodi Sundowns are thinking, OK, we need fresh legs. There's Langerman with Rulani Mukwena and two others. Uh, they're about to come on. They're being given instructions. We need fresh legs. Why not? We're leading 1-0 with four minutes to go. We want to win the match and we need fresh legs. Tebukho Langerman is experienced. He's one who can win as the match. And those are substitutes happening. But tell you what, the Langerman substitute ended up not happening. Clearly, they got a call from someone who said, hang on, you cannot bring this guy in. He is not eligible to play. But then now, let's take a look at what the FIFA rules say about the Tebukho Langerman incident. And this is the disciplinary code of FIFA, forfeit. One, if a player is fielded in a match despite being ineligible, the team to which the player belongs will be sanctioned by forfeiting the match and paying a minimum fine of 6,000 Swiss francs. The player may also be sanctioned. And let's take a look at the next one well, with the FIFA disciplinary code, still under forfeit. It says a team sanctioned with a forfeit is considered to have lost the match 3-0 in an 11-a-side football and this obviously is uh, what Sundowns falls under. If the goal difference at the end of the match is less favorable to the team at fault, the result on the pitch is upheld and the result on the pitch would not be upheld because the goal difference is not less favorable to the team at fault. It is favorable in fact because sundowns won one nil so had they lost one nil the result on the pitch would have then been upheld but there is a loophole for champions mamelodi sundowns let's take a look and come back home on the nsl rules and take a look at what we say here in south africa and this is under protests and complaints and this is where uh, the nuances come between a protest and a complaint 53 uh, 51.3 it says where the protest relates to a player who is alleged to be an ineligible player the protesting member club will lodge a written objection to the fielding of the player detailing the reasons for the objection with the referee and the opposing captain in the presence of an assistant referee and this is the important line no later than 30 minutes before the start of the match and this is very important for Bloemfontein Celtic and Mamelodi Sundowns because they did not uh, submit the complaint before the match 30 minutes before the match it is categorized as a complaint and not a protest and sundowns will most likely get away with just a fine had celtic 
uh, submitted about 120 minutes earlier. They might have been crowned champions of the Nedbank Cup without even winning the actual trophy on the pitch. And that, in a nutshell, is why <laughs> the Devo Holangaman uh, story is the one trending and not Mamelodi Sundowns winning the Nedbank Cup. And that's where we're going to leave it for this hour.